Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm back here in Montesano at the uh, trailer where Gary Cobain lives. Gary, thank you so much for uh, having me in, man. Okay. <laughs> so you had a very different uh, life. You were in the army, is that correct? Yeah. What inspired you to get into the army? I don't know. One day, me and my buddy got drunk. <laughs> 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 Let's go sign up. That's funny. Were you ever deployed anywhere overseas? Yeah, I was in Hawaii, Germany. Wow. How was that? How was that general experience for you? It was different, let me tell you, it's a whole different world. <laughs> Is there any one memory you have of your military service that you're fond of? Yeah, on Germany, when, we were, when I was on Germany, you don't find no no paper or nothing out on the roads. None. Nowhere. Super clean over there. Yeah, really clean. I didn't believe it. Autobahn was fun. You went on the Autobahn? Yeah, I drove on the Autobahn. Wow, how fast did you go on that thing? Fast as that car could go. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to check that out, actually, the Autobahn. Oh, man. The roads are just smooth, man. Corners are banked and everything. Really, eh? Yeah. There's some here, pictures of Kirk there, and there's Courtney and Kirk and Francis. That's my kid in the corner with one of the hit. Oh, Let me see. Over there. That's, that's your kid? No, that's his kid. And my kid's right there. Boy. That's so cool. What's his name? Kurt, uh, Christopher. <laughs> Christopher, and how old is Christopher now? 42. 42, wow. So do you have grandkids? Yeah, that, that's one, and that's one. And, oh, one with him, and that's her. One of them. She's cool. t just about 21 now. That's awesome. So you're a Seahawks fan? Yeah. <laughs> this is all my dad's dad and mom, and those are their anniversaries. <clears throat> Oh. And that's my mom there too. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> that's your mother? Yeah. She used to do ballet, man. That's cool. I'm Canadian, right? So both my parents immigrated to Canada, so I'm like a first generation Canadian. Oh, yeah? So I'm just curious, like, how many generations in the States you guys have been? Uh, oh, shit, I knew. My dad had, what? Like Ernie, Burrow, Kenny. Uh, God, I can't remember his sister's name now. Yeah, sister too. No worries. But you guys are part Irish from what I understand, right? Yeah, mostly Irish, yeah. That's and cool. Always, uh, French. Oh, that's cool. I'm actually a French citizen. So my dad used to live in France. and they're, I've never lived there, but their government, if you have a parent that's a French citizen, then you can get one yourself, like citizenship yourself. So so when when uh, Nirvana got really big, like, when did you first learn that he was in a band, first of all? Uh, it was when, when I got out of the service, when I first got out. I was driving down the road and I see this thing said Nirvana on a, on a car and I didn't know what it was Kurt or anything until later on, until he started getting popular. And how did that feel like seeing your nephew becoming, you know, as famous as he did? Fuck, I know, just like that. That was pretty cool. Do you have, do you have a favorite Nirvana song? No, I don't, but I like them. I like them all, really. So, so the people in this park, do they know that you're, uh, you're Kurt's uncle? Yeah. And do they ever ask you questions about him or anything? Uh, a couple of them might. Four lanes on one side, four lanes on the other. Left lane's the fastest lane. In the Autobahn? Yeah, if you're in the left lane and you're going and someone gets behind you, it'll flash your lights. You're not fast enough, get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your dog's name, by the way? Well, that's my dad's old dog. It's your dad's old dog. What kind of breed is she? It's Chihuahua. Chihuahua. I like you, a long-haired Chihuahua. Well, somebody sent that to us. That's cool. Forget who. Do you like it when people come visit you? I don't mind. My dad didn't mind at all. That's this lady in Canada. She stayed here six months. Really? You had a guest stay here six months? <laughs> and he, then my dad went over to England with her. Wow. For a couple months. He went to Ireland and all that, checked out. We had a few cousins over there, I guess. My dad is a, was a good dart player. Really? Yeah. All these. He went to state in it. So what is the uh, the PDA? Uh, what? <laughs> PDA. <laughs> what? What? Like it says, a uh, PDA Summer Darts League. What is that exactly? Uh, it's a dart league, PDA. It's an association of it. I, I guess it could be Professional Dart Association, if I had to guess. Uh, could be. Or Pacific Dart Association. Probably one of those guys. Uh, I was on the team. You were on the team. You were on the team with your dad. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, yeah, 69ers, I think, we were on. Oh, wow. 
Is that your is that your mom with your dad there? Yeah. It's a cuckoo clock I bought brought from Germany. Did you get this when you were on when you were deployed? Yeah, I, over there, yeah. Over there. So which branch of the service were you in? Army. Hmm. Did you ever go to the Middle East? Nope. Uh, it was around Vietnam. It was Vietnam was still going when I went in. I didn't get bullied over there though. <clears throat> Sorry, say it again? Huh? You, were you talking to me? No, I was talking to myself, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so most of this art you said um, comes from just random fans who send you stuff? Yeah, all these bike ones are my brother Jimmy. He, he's the drawer of the family. He, he did that cat in high school. Really? Yeah, 63. That's cool, that's well done. And you said that your mother made this one here? Yeah, she was... She could draw too. So your family's artistic. Yeah. That's where Kurt got that, I think. And mm -hmm. the other family, you know. Uh, Wendy's family? Part of family is all music. That's how, how, he, how he really started. Yeah. Mary gave him a guitar. He wanted to play the drums, but he couldn't keep beat. Hmm. <laughs> what was the... Um, what was the first sign that you got that, okay, Kurt's pretty talented. Like, what, when did you, do you remember anything? I don't know. We were at one of his uh, uncle's places. We're all over there, I think, on New Year's Eve or something. He, his uncle had a band, and down below there was a drum set, and he snuck down there, and you could tell he wanted that. He was good at making clay models and movies and stuff like that. Kurt was? Yeah. He did a whole movie. I don't know where it went, of dinosaurs and stuff. And you have to move them every little bit to make the movie. So Gary, what exactly uh, is that that you're holding right now? It's just a cane I made. You made this, yeah? Yeah. It's got a couple other things in it. Woo! -wee. Damn, what is, what is the reason for that? It's a shish kebab. So you're, you're into craftsmanship, you're into building things? Yeah, it's, that's a bicycle shit there. That's a gooseneck. That's a pair of handlebars. And I just put a piece of wood in there yeah. too. And you made this? Yeah. I don't know this guy, is this like a makeshift spear? Oh, no, it's just a walking stick. I took the light and shit off of it. That's cool. So is that something you do to pass the time? You like to build things? Uh, yeah, if I get bored. So what inspired you to make this uh, weapon of a, uh, <laughs> of a, of a staff? I've seen one before like it. Something with a weapon in it. All right, Gary. Well, I guess I will never bother you when you're holding that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the farthest the fan has gone to come see you? Italy. Japan. Really? You've had people from Japan here? Yeah. Wow. And are they usually on their way down to Aberdeen when they come by? It's checking out Kurt's stuff, yeah. yeah. go Seattle first. And, yeah, Australia. We come from France or Paris. And they brought us... Oh, who the hell do you the So you had, a, you had a fan come from France and he gave you a bottle of wine? Yeah. These are old, too. They've been here, fuck, ever since he passed away. So you had these... You've had these bottles of wine here for like decades? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Wow. I want to open them. They might taste really good by now. <laughs> <laughs> a rotten one or two. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe for more. All the videos on this channel are original. I'm the one conducting all the interviews and editing all the videos together. So if you guys like what you see and you want to support, the best way to do so is honestly just to subscribe. Lots more to come.